Hello ladies and gentlemen, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to have dialogue that you can only ask a limited number of times. This might be for a detective game, or a character that's quite pushy, maybe you only get a certain amount of responses you can say to him before he kicks you away. So for my example, I'm going to modify this here salesman person into an NPC so we can interact with him. There we are, and I'm going to drop him a new funky name. And I'm going to hit Bull Denver Bakeman. And now that I have him, all I'm going to do is create a new dialogue for him because then he can be the pushy kind so I'm going to call it DB and then his name I'm just copying from my nurse one just so all my presets are there but you can just create a new one as there nice and set up so the first thing we want him to do is we need to give him some limited options so we'll make him first say something like why hello there sir are you interested in buying my wares this is a salesman so you, he's going to be friendly at first and we'll just give the player a few options so there we go I have I have questions about these wares, I don't think they're real, and that's where we can pressure him into, you know, giving us the limited responses. What do you have for sale? Where we can integrate with the shop or something later, and goodbye. Goodbye will just end the dial. So, after we start questioning him, uh, he might get a bit antsy now, going, Hey, what have you heard? Look, be quick, I have customers waiting. And now here is where we can have our limited dialogue options to only say we can question him a little bit before he kicks us back out and says no more. So from here what we can do is we can have the path where he kicks us away and says hey no more. So we'll drag off from here and we'll just create an empty dialogue line like so. And then we'll start our player options from here. So it might be I heard these are all fake or the classic you are a con man sir. Another option could be why are you trying to sell these fake products to these fine folk. Now we could just have it so you can only ask one and then and you run down the path and then you're done. But I want the option where you can, you know, accuse him a few times. So I'm going to say, I've, we've got three items, but you can only ask two of them. So I'm going to make him respond to each. These are not eight. These are the finest products to exist in this rotten waste of a town. I'll make the, you are a con man, sir, line to say, I am most certainly not a con man. I just need a little gold to survive. And then the final one, why are you trying to sell fake products to these fine folk? And I'll loop all these back around to the beginning of the dialogue. So it will have to be one, be one with with text. However, my suggestion, if you don't want him to say the same what have you heard, what we can do is drag off and create another line, like so, empty that one holding the alt key, and I can just reassign these to that one instead. There we are. So now what we can do is we can drag up from here, and then I'll just put another line in here for the salesman, and this is going to be your final line, and it'll be, hey, this is now enough. I have a business to run. I suggest you get out of here. So we're going to make it so they can ask two of these options, any two, and then it will instantly go to the third one. So the first thing we need to do is have a way in narrative to complete tasks on these end ones. So we want each one to say, I have participated in this group task. So I'm going to go and create an event here because currently we can't complete a task at an event. We're going to come into our content drawer, blueprints, narrative, event, and I'm going to right click blueprint class and we'll create a new narrative event. And I'm going to call it any complete task. And in here, I'm going to set a variable called narrative task. And this will be the task that we need to complete. And because we're going to make this generic, it will just simply be the narrative like so. And then for another variable, I will set this to the argument. And this needs to be type of string like so. So now we can easily complete a narrative task. So in my get graph display text, I'm just going to drag from the return node and I'm going to append. This will be how it renders inside narrative. And I'm going to set the A to B, complete task with a space at the end. And I'm going to drag the narrative task down and put it into B like so to get the display name. And in C, I'm going to set it to with arg with spaces before and after so it renders correctly. And I'm going to put the argument in. So we can specifically see in narrative, complete task, play dialogue node, and then with argument group or something like that. And then the final function I'm going to override is the execute event here. And all I'm going to do is drag from the narrative component and do complete narrative task and I connect it all up. And then all we have to do is drag from the narrative task and attach it and then drag from the argument and attach it like so. And now we can complete it. And what this means now is we can come to any narrative dialogue that we need. And instead of using the play dialogue node on the quest, we can come to the event and we can mark it as complete task on the event. And this means we can add any narrative task we want and any argument we want and it will complete it. So now what we need is a way to join all three of these together. So then we can check it at this level to say, is it less than two? If it is, let them continue, otherwise show the final one. So for this, jump into your content drawer, blueprints, narrative tasks, and we're going to create a new narrative task. So right click narrative task, and I'm going to call it NT play dialogue group. Now you do have the standard play dialogue, which will mark when each individual node runs, but you can't get any of them, which is where our group one will come in. So as per normal, I'm going to get rid of the NTs. 
and the argument is set up to the group name which I'm happy with which means now we can come in here and complete a narrative task the task we will complete will be our group and the argument will be Bud Denver Bateman interrogation and now I can copy that event and I can just paste it on all three of them and you can see our rendering has done complete narrative task play dialogue group with argument Bud Denver interrogation like so so now that every time we speak one of these texts it's going to come back but it's going to complete the task so what we can do now is on this final one here we can say the condition for this one is they have completed a task and we will say the task is our play dialogue group the argument is the Bud Denver interrogation and I'm going to set the quantity to two so we must have completed the task twice not three times and then I'm going to copy this condition and I'm going to paste it on the empty node here but I'm going to tick it as the not operator so if we haven't completed it twice go into this node otherwise come up here so let's give it a go now as you can see if we talk to him he will say his introduction we will say we want to question you he will say I don't think these are real hey what have you heard be quick I have customers waiting and it will give us our three options we can select either one we want so I'll select the last one he'll say why are you selling fake products I just need a little gold what does it matter and then it will give us the options again so we can come in and say you are a con man sir I am most certainly not a con man I need gold to survive and now you will notice it will bring us back to the list again which is odd because we set it to two if I select another one even the same one it doesn't matter it will then say these are not fake and then it will jump to hey this is enough now I have a business to run now I don't actually know why it does this it seems to only check after a period of time or something like that so the easiest way to get around it is to set it to one less than what you actually need so I'm going to set them both to one so even though they're set to one I will be able to ask twice and this will work for any number you have if you have 15 set it to 14 then it will allow you to ask 15 and then it will continue it's a weird bug that I have yet to find the solution to but you can see if I talk to him now and I ask the first question there's the first question it's taking me back I ask the second question he will say you're a con man I am not and he'll go hey this is enough now go away and there we go so as you can see it is a weird bug but it works perfectly fine and I've had it in some of the games I've made without a problem now you could make it a little bit more advanced by saying after you've asked this you can't ask it anymore so we can come back and we're just not allowed to question him anymore and that's as simple by setting has completed task set the task to be play dialogue node and set the argument to be the id of the parent node and then tick the not this way we can only ask him once and then not be able to ask again so as you can see we can come in and we can see the three options i can talk to him i can accuse him one time i can accuse him a second time and then he'll condemn us so we can come away we can come back and he'll say what have you got for sale or goodbye perfect we could even take it one step closer and if we've accused him he's going to be a bit miffed off a little bit isn't it so instead of why hello sir are you interested in buying my wares we can take this a little bit away and we can add another one in here and say oh you again what can I do for you or anything like that you can make him accuse it or anything and I'm going to basically take the same condition up here that we've got in the first place because once you're in here you've got to accuse him there's no way re real out of it and on this first one why hello I'm going to paste it here saying if you haven't accused him yet then you can get the nice polite why hello sir but if you have accused him so we'll paste it again and we'll just untick the not option so if we have accused him then we can simply just drag up to the player and to the goodbye like so alternatively you can just duplicate these nodes if you want them to be there there we are and now you can see we can run up to him it will give us the nice greeting we can query him and we can say you're a con man you're a bad person he will say go away kind of thing then we can come back and he'll say oh you again what do you want and then he'll only give us the two options perfect and that ladies and gentlemen is how you can easily limit how many times you can ask specific things i've got this on mine where i have six of them and he each time I ask one of them it unlocks another one so you want to constantly get moving dialogue and then it rejects it or kicks it back. I hope this helps please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.